I'm feeling orange? Yeah. Let's do orange. What's up guys, this is Brad. Welcome to the Codoverse. This is my channel where we deep dive into all things development, design, and have a bit of fun. So, right, today I've got a pretty quick video for you, but I thought it was worthwhile actually mentioning. What we're gonna be doing on this channel is we're going to be adding a website to Cloudflare. So Cloudflare is a network that is designed to help protect your website online. It helps boost speeds, uh, manages your DNS, it can stop DDoS attacks and do a whole lot of other things. So you'd think, well, why would I need to move my um, name servers to Cloudflare? Well, there's a lot of reasons that you would, but the majority of the reasons is for the, the caching that Cloudflare has. So basically what caching does is it's a hardware and software that basically stores parts of the website's data so that they can be served faster to users coming back to the website. A lot of websites do have their own caching mechanisms which you can use apart from that, but it always helps to have your DNS caching. It's actually a lot easier to use than any other DNS um, provider out there. And you can basically store all your websites in one location. If you have a client over here and a client here, you can basically tell them to delegate their DNS into this one platform and then you can still manage the outputs of all of these uh, records and everything in there. All right, so before we get started, I've got my socials here. Be sure to follow me on there. If you have any questions or anything that you want to know, any videos that you think I should make to help explain things or explain them in a different way, please comment down below. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm and let's get into it. All right, so as you can see here, we're in the main Cloudflare dashboard. Now you can get to Cloudflare just by going cloudflare.com and it will take you to Cloudflare where you can sign up. It's a completely free service. There are paid versions of it which are super efficient and they will help serve data a lot faster to your clients. But in this case, we're only using the free version. I'm gonna show you how to pretty much move your DNS records over to Cloudflare. So for me here, you can see a list of um, accounts. I will have them blurred, but they are there. So what we're gonna to want to do is, up in the top right corner, it should have an add to site button, or add a site button. So if we just click that, basically all it's gonna do is ask you for a domain. So luckily for you guys, I've decided to rebrand from Koda Kiwi to Koda Vert, because my channel is gonna be a lot more versatile and I think it's gonna have a lot more content that's just not gonna really be related to New Zealand stuff. So basically what I want to do here is add my new website on there. So if we go codoverse.com and we click add site, basically you're gonna be brought to this screen and this screen is gonna show you a bunch of different plans that Cloudflare has. Now I know some of them are very expensive but we don't actually have to use them. We can just use the basic free plan here and that's all I want to do because all I'm going to be doing on this is managing the DNS. So if we click continue, Cloudflare is now going to automatically scan the site and it's going to find any existing records that have already been added. In this case, we've got the just the default records that are coming through. We don't actually need to change anything. I will update these in another video. I'm actually, I will create another video which I will link at the end of this of how to update a record in Cloudflare. Once you've done this and you can check your records, basically you're just gonna wanna go continue. And right now Cloudflare's gonna tell me that my name servers are actually located somewhere else. So my name servers are over here with only domains and I want them to be with Cloudflare. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go copy these here, so if I just click that, I can copy it. So I've already prepared this in only domains to already be at a point where I can delegate it. So what you're gonna to want to do on your own hosting website is you're gonna to wanna to find a place where it says to delegate your domain or your name servers. So if you can do that, all you need to do is put in the name servers that it is, that are listed in Cloudflare and click delegate your name servers. Now that would then say that the DNS is now updated. So now you can see here that the new name servers are set to Cloudflare. Now all name servers generally will have 
um, NS1, NS2, NS3, NS or something along those lines dot a domain. So that's a good way to identify them from just a regular domain. So now that we've done that, basically what we're going to do is it can take up to 24 hours for the domains to change over. But in this case, I'm going to try now and click done, check more. Uh, Cloudflare will recommend you to do a whole lot of things like enable cache and some sort of attacking things or DDoS protection or something like that. Things to optimize your site and make it faster. So I recommend you actually do do these, but for the purposes of this, I'm only going over how to add the name server. So I will skip the recommendations. And basically you can see here that it says Cloud, Cloudflare periodically checks for name server updates. Um, to initiate a name server check, you can just click the check now. So I'm gonna click the check now there and that can take up to a few hours. So that basically is how you add uh, your site to Cloudflare. Now, if you stay tuned to this part of the video, I am going to be adding a few more tutorials on Cloudflare and how to alter DNS records, how to and, uh, add an A record, a C name, an SPF record, a DKIM record, and all things like that. If this did help you at all, please just, all I ask is that you smash that like and yeah, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be going across a whole bunch of different development design, uh, SEO techniques, everything that's gonna help you either level up or it's gonna help your business significantly do better online. So until then, it's been a pleasure as always. I'll see you in the next video.